doing another one of my firsts that you guys love to know. I've done other firsts in the past, like first kiss, first period, first time stealing, as requested by somebody on Twitter, because I'd love to know what you guys want to see, what my firsts and stuff. So if you ever want to know a first, just tweet it to me at Pink Sparkles and I may do your request. So this one is my first time getting pulled over by the police. Oh, scandalous. <laughs> Handcuff me, bae. <laughs> No, I've been pulled over, um, I would say under 10 times. I don't know how many, but it was d it's definitely under 10, closer to around five. Anyway, so the very first time, um, I drove a Mustang and it wasn't a nice Mustang. It was actually like kind of a crappy Mustang. And it's not in the perfect shape, but it runs great. So that, I loved it also. That's the key, is if you love your vehicle, that, that's it. I live in Saskatchewan. Now, you guys know in the States, different states have different laws. It's not just like the United States of America or Canada has this law. I mean, some sometimes that applies for the whole country, like as in murder is bad, like that, that's a law for the entire country. But like specific laws, like car laws and like turning right on red or turning left on red, like all of that will be different usually if you go state to state or province to province in Canada. My dad and I went to Alberta to purchase my Mustang. Now when we bought the Mustang, it was on the Saskatchewan Alberta border. So the car was already registered in Saskatchewan. There's a city, it's called Lloyd Minster. That whole city, it's like divided. I think half of it or roughly half of it is Saskatchewan and the other half is Alberta. Luckily the, the car that I bought was on the Saskatchewan side. So it was good, it was still in my province and it was registered in Saskatchewan. So I didn't have to worry about Alberta or anything like that. So I was good and happy with that. So I got the car, drove it home and about, I would say, a week, a week and a half later, just like driving home, I was actually at my ex-boyfriend's house and I was coming home. It wasn't too late or anything like that. I wasn't speeding. I wasn't texting or anything like that. I literally had like both hands on the wheel because I was a new driver. So I wanted to be, be cautious and be sure of the road. Well, you should do that anyway. It doesn't matter if you're a 50 year old driver. You should always be cautious and careful, but I'm driving down the road. I'm like, hey girl, listen to probably Nicki Minaj and I'm driving down the road. And all of a sudden there was a cop just like sitting there. Like he wasn't driving. He was just like, sitting there and I wasn't speeding or anything like that and all of a sudden he like put his lights on and I'm like what I look immediately immediately I look at my speedometer and I'm not I'm going speed limit I was like okay and my signal lights on and my hazard lights on am I just looking that good that he's gonna pull me over like what is wrong so naturally I signal pull over to the right hand side and wait there and he sits in his car he has like big spotlights on so like I'm like getting like flashes in my eyes thinking I'm at a Justin Bieber concert it's so bright and I'm waiting and waiting and waiting and like flipping out I'm like what is wrong do I have a flat tire like is he gonna say that I was speeding when I wasn't I don't know what's gonna happen so he just comes over to the side here and says do you know why I stopped you and I said legitimately I said legitimately I said no I don't want it all and he says don't play with me and I went and it wasn't like late, late at night, but it was probably like 10 o'clock, like 9, 30, 10. So it was dark outside. There wasn't many people on the road and I'm by myself and I'm a new driver. So I'm already nervous as it is. And he's like, don't play with me. And he didn't smile once. And I'm always like a happy person. I said, no, sir, I don't know. And I just went, sorry, sir. I don't, I don't know why you pulled me over. I don't see what I was doing wrong. And he stood there, he crossed his arms like this and he was chewing gum and he just went, looked at me, looked at the car. And like, I'm sitting there, I'm like, I don't know what I did wrong. Like, I don't feel like I did anything wrong, but like you you never know and you have to respect police. So I'm just like sitting there, just like staring at him. I don't know what to do. So then I like reach over to get my license and registration. And he said, stop. And I went, I said, I'm just getting my license and registration for you. And he said, why would you do that if I never told you what to do? And I said, because I don't know what you're asking of me. I don't know and I want to be as cooperative as possible. And I'm not too sure what we're doing here. Like, I don't know. I was trying to be as nice as possible, but it was kind of a little awkward. He was being very rude to me for like no reason. And I'm just like, cool. So he's just like continuously just like staring at me. And then he takes a walk around my car. He literally starts and he's like walking around my car, looking at my car, looking all around and like making <laughs> hmm. Huh, noises the entire time and I'm like I don't know if I should like text my dad and ask him like can you like come here and meet me because like I don't know what's happening like I might just get arrested right now because he feels like it I don't know so then he comes back to the car and he says license and registration please if you even have it 
Now I look young, so I reach in, I get my license, I get my registration, I give it to him, and I'm 19 years old at the time. Well enough to drive, and he looks at it, and he says, oh, because I'm a new driver, like I've only been driving for a week, and he goes, oh, newbie driver, huh? And he smiled, like, and not like a smile, like a sweet Barbie smile, like a rude, evil, blah, smile. <laughs> he says, so do you know why I pulled you over? Again, he said the same question again, and I said, no, I'm sorry, sir, I don't know why you pulled me over, I don't feel like I was doing anything wrong. He goes, you don't feel like you were doing anything wrong. Roll up your window. And I'm like, oh, okay. Cause I have my window rolled down, obviously, cause I'm talking to him. And I, I was like, okay. So I roll it up, he's like, stop. And I'm like, so I stopped it halfway, right? And he goes, do you see this? And I went, um, uh, your window, I don't know. Am I not allowed to have my windows up when I'm driving? And he said, this is a legal tint on your car. You are not allowed to have that here. And I went, oh, I had no idea. Like I legitimately and honestly had no idea that side window, oh, there's a hair on me. I had no idea that window tinting on the sides were legal. Illegal, sorry, where I live, window tinting on the front window is illegal and on the side passenger, or yeah, if your driver's side and passenger side windows is illegal. You're allowed to have it all you want and as dark, I think, as you want. I could be wrong, don't take my word for it if you live here, but on the back windows, you can have tinting and on the back full window, you're allowed to have tinting. But for some reason, it is only illegal if it's on the side windows here. And that is how I purchased the car that was already previously registered for five years in Saskatchewan. I honestly had no idea that this was illegal. And when I got my license, I read through all the laws and I went through everything like that. So I knew like what was illegal or not. Obviously it is illegal if a police officer is telling you. So I said, I honestly had no idea. He goes, I know you type of kids. You drive around in these sporty cars like Mustangs and you want to tint it up so you can be so, uh, so you can be suspicious and inconspicuous in your car so you can't see what you're really doing in the car. And I said, oh, that's how I bought the car. I never put this on. I don't even like the side window, window tinting. I will definitely take it off. Absolutely goes, well, of course you're gonna take it off. It's illegal. <laughs> I just went, okay, well, I'll take it off then. Like, I don't even like it anyway. I said that to him, I don't even like it anyway. Like, I didn't even know it was illegal. So then, do you know what he proceeds to do? He takes my window tint and he rips it. He, 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 I'm not joking here. He took my window tint and he started like ripping it down. He's like, this is how easy it is to rip it off. So why didn't you do that previously if you didn't like it? And I told him because I only had the car for about one-ish weeks. So I, I didn't know that it was illegal. If, if, it was, if I knew that it was illegal, I would have never kept it on the car. Like I would have taken it off before I even driven it home. I had no idea. So then he starts like ripping it off and he rips it off like halfway and he lets it go and it like curls up almost. And he does it on, and he only does it on the one side, like where my driver's side is. So the one is still tinted and the backs and the back windows are all still tinted. And he's really disgusted with me for having this tinting in a sports car. And I'm a teenager, I don't know what it is. Like that's just what he was like expressing. Like I know you teenagers and your sporty cars and you like to be inconspicuous. I said, I wasn't doing wrong. I don't want to conceal myself. Like I have nothing to hide. I'll be right back. And he went to his car, came back with a ticket. I think it was for like 150-ish dollars. And at that time that was a lot to me because I was working part-time at Value Village and I was going to school, I was in university. So I just was kind of hurt about it. And he said, have a good day. And he just like left. And so I said, okay, so I had this ticket in my hand for $150 for illegal window tint or something like that. And I'm like shocked and surprised and like, oh my God, how am I gonna pay this? Like, I don't even know. And my house was only about three minutes down the road. So I just drove home with that. And I almost got into an accident coming home because I went to shoulder check, looked at my mirrors. I couldn't properly look in my mirror because when he pulled off my window tint, it pulled off to like where like your mirror is. And I couldn't properly look out my windows because the window tint was all like mismatched. So I actually almost sideswiped somebody and I've never done that. I've never been into an accident before while I've been driving. So it, it was like really distracting my driving and I came home and I was so upset and I showed my dad and basically I went to court and I fought the ticket. I did. I went there and I said, I know that it is illegal. I understand that and I'm not fighting that. What I am fighting, however, is I didn't know and I would have gladly just taken it off then and there. Like I didn't want it there and this guy almost seemed like he was kind of like out to get me from the get go and he was very rude and pulled my window tint off right in front of me only halfway. So it really blinded my driving while going home and you know, like it's just unnecessary for him to do that. And I'm like a new driver, like a week into driving and this was my car 
and I had no idea and it was previously registered it was registered for like five years in Saskatchewan so why didn't anyone pull the other guy over for five years and in the first week I get pulled over I didn't get it and then I also said because when I got home I started researching the laws of driving in Saskatoon or Saskatchewan sorry and there were not there was nothing on window tinting I searched everywhere I went on the government of Canada website I went on the student handbook I looked everywhere there was no laws at all that you could find on window tinting so how am I supposed to know that it's illegal if it's nowhere to be found if that information is nowhere do you guys know what I mean did I have my, oh I thought I've been filming for 35 minutes I was like really the moral of the story is like you're supposed to know the laws in your country or province or city or state or wherever you are or if you're traveling to another city province or state know their laws before you start driving or doing anything like basically just know the laws before you go about your business and that was my argument was like how am I supposed to know the law if it's nowhere to be found like if this information on window tinting is illegal yes I don't dispute that it's illegal but how am I supposed to know that it's illegal magic I'm not a freaking warlock like I don't know that it's legal if there's no information to me so then after I presented presented that to the judge and I was very respectful to the judge they called on the officer to say his piece they called his name out I'm not gonna reveal his name but they called the officer's name out to go up to the stand and he didn't show up why <laughs> that right there just put the icing on the cupcake I was like yep he didn't show up they called his name three times they also called his name on the intercom outside in the courtroom and there was nowhere to be found so why didn't he show up because he was a meanie of course it's illegal and I should have definitely 100% have gotten the ticket because it was illegal but my defense was how much does he know it's illegal and how was he how is he given the right to like rip something halfway off of my car and blind me from driving at night so basically I I won the case and I had to pay only like the the minimum charge of a ticket just because it was an illegal thing like you can't get completely out for doing something illegal so I got a minimum charge I think it was only like 50 bucks or like 30 I think it was like 30 I don't even know this was back in the day and the judge said from this case he's going to make laws more um displayable more easy to find and post it because how like how are you supposed to know if something's illegal if it's not there right you can't a cop can't just come to you and be like oh that's a legal ticket well how do I know it's illegal it's a little cute <laughs> That was my story, my first time being pulled over and like my first time going to court as well, I guess in one, but it, it, it did end up happy because there are people out there who are nice and who will help you. You just have to find those people. And if you are, if you do feel like you're in a situation, maybe with police or authority or something like that, where you feel like, eh, like I don't feel like this is right. You can always go to the court system or maybe somebody else with a second opinion, a lawyer, your parents maybe even, or even phone the chief or the police station and just like, explain the situation and they'll explain it to you in full so I hope that helped you guys it is a happy situation oh and and also when I got home to my dad and was explaining to him we took off all the window tint on the side so there was no window tint at all and I asked the judge is there anything else on my car that's illegal that like I don't know about and he laughed and he said no everything else is fine make sure you know if you're putting aftermarket things on your vehicle if it is legal or not or if you purchase the car from somebody you can't just be like oh great it's good to drive because they may have illegal tail lights headlights um, rims tires window tint anything like the color of the light bulbs as well could be illegal and you could get dinged or ticketed so just make sure you know the laws in your city um and wherever you are and learn from my mistake well it wasn't really my mistake but that's okay i hope you guys have a great day and i will talk to you tomorrow bye guys these are like beet red like i don't even know it's probably like so hot mmm <sighs> Oh, that's good. Woo! If I wasn't awake before, I'm awake now. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs>